Hey guys, it's me on the back on a Sun Street, and today I'm gonna be shooting a video on how to make an easy paper King Kong's battle axe from Godzilla vs. King Kong. So this movie is gonna come out pretty soon, so I thought I'd prep up for the excitement and d decided on making the battle axe from the movie. So here are the materials right in front of you in the camera screen. So here are some art papers. I decided to use this. I could have used the other one, but the red works. I don't want to repaint it, so or the red looks a bit like blood. So yeah, that's a win in my book. So and there's three more of the same kind of paper. These are pretty solid and heavy as well, and which can be used to make bills like this. So I'll just put them aside. The next up we have these uh, accessories, some tapes, stapler, scissor, and then some drawing items, which I'll put aside right there. So we're gonna start with this piece and this piece right here. So I'm thinking of joining these two together like that. And then rolling it in an in a handle shape. So I'm gonna do that with my stapler. That. I'll use some tape. And then in a handle shape, a bit thin thinner on the top and a bit more wider on the bottom because from the tr trailer it looks a bit like a bone so yeah bones have a wider bottom so that's what I'm doing right here okay there it is I'll just give it a bit more organic feel by squishing it like that and the next step would be to make it permanently attached with a piece of tape. Then I'll just squish the bottom piece inwards like that and make it look a bit more like a bone, bony structure like that. There's that, and then a super long piece of tape. So the handle is pretty much done, it's pretty strong as well. So 
So right about there would be the axe head, I suppose. I'm not quite sure. I'll use a pencil to mark it. So I think this is a perfect area for the axe head. Okay, so on the, this side of the tip, I'll be making a slopey design like that. And next up, I think I'll be folding it in the middle, like so. Then I'll cut out a piece. To fit the axe head. So there's one side. The same on this side. As you can see it's pretty wobbly so I have actually prepared for this and we'll be using one of these things again fold it like that and then make a cylindrical piece so this will act as a support piece, just so this won't be as wo wobbly as it is right now. So I'll be attaching it to one of these sides. Okay, like that. So it's back to being sturdy. Now next step is going to be the axe head for which I'm going to be using the final piece. Okay, I won't be moving that. So this is how I'm going to be making the axe head. I'll mark right there, one there. I'll just connect these two dots and then draw an arrow head just so I know which is the upper part. That will be the back piece. Okay, so that looks good. So before I cut it off, I think I'll be using some of these guys. And these to freshen up the mood and make it look a bit better. Or I think I'll just cut it off before that. <coughs>
pieces we don't need. So there is that. And I might have forgotten which is the up one. If this is the up one, I'll make another arrow. Put that there. So next up I think I'll be oops not pink. That's blue. Um, I'll make some cool designs with my pens. So I did some coloring, as I said, so there is some, like, pretty weird colors, a mix of every single thing I have, not every single, but most of them, I just have some pink, I don't know why, and this one is opening like that, so we're gonna be putting in one of these things that we had cut off in the beginning, so this will act as the strengthening piece which won't make it this floppy but a bit more stronger so we're just going to be rolling it like that and a single piece of tape will do sticking it like that on that side it's pretty sturdy now. Now the next step would be just to attach these two pieces together. So that is done, the axe head is completely ready, and the next step would be to put it inside there, just like that. And before I do that, let me just squish this a bit. side and that side are completely ready. Now the 
final step would be just to join these two big pieces together with tape. Okay, there is the X. Now, the next step would be to add more details in the handle and stuff as well, which I'll be doing right now. that. Then for the finishing touches I might just wrap it with black tape but mm, it's looking pretty nice as it is. It might just ruin it with black tape so I think I'll end it right there. So that's about it. We made a pretty good progress. There's another short um, thing I'd like to say is I've got exams coming up pretty soon so last time I went on a break to do a small burnout with out of the blue like I didn't mention it in any of my videos so to prevent that from happening this time I'll be uh, yeah I'll, I'm, I'm telling you guys that I'll be going on a short two to three weeks of break due to exams and after that I'll come back and make tons of more videos for my second channel as well which I haven't been able to do um, because of the lack of time yeah, and I've been focusing more on this main channel, so I really appreciate you guys supporting me in my videos, and I read your comments all the time, and it like gives me inspiration every single time. So yeah, that is about it, and there, there is our X as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and really hope you guys learned how to make this cool paper craft, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, comment me down below what should I do next in my next video, and share my videos. Thank you, bye-bye.